I've always been like that. If something happened, it's meant to happen. It was done for a purpose. So I feel like it was God saying, it's your time, I need you, and you've done what I need you to do. I don't know what she did that he was just like, I'm ready for you to come home. Do you believe that, or do you need to believe that? I think it's more so I need to believe it. It's so that I can come to turn with her actually never coming back. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Junior Palmer's sister, Brianna Taylor, was shot and killed while police were executing a search warrant on her home in the middle of the night on March 13th. Over two months later, her name has become a rallying cry for protesters here in Louisville. Say her name! Brianna Taylor! Her family is still fighting for justice for Taylor, and they're still grieving. She literally was the sweetest person ever. The car rides was fun with my sister. They're like the funnest things ever. I have friends when my sister passed away, they were telling me like they admired our relationship. They wish they had, their and their siblings were like that. So you were very close. Yeah. Tomorrow, Taylor would have turned 27. A lot of people don't realize like, my life had to change in a moment. Not in days, in a moment. I had to uproot my norm to make a new norm been at family functions and not seeing her come in being goofy, it is so weird. It's so weird that her birthday is Friday and she is not getting on my last nerve talking about, does this match, does this look right? Am I gonna look cute for my birthday? I got a hair appointment this day. You need to do this for me. It's so weird. She's not here. It's upsetting. Taylor was an EMT serving on the front lines as COVID-19 began to sweep across the country. She wanted to become a nurse one day. She just wanted to be able to take her time with a person, understand this person, and help this person better. Did she talk to you about the plans that she had for the future? She really was looking forward to having a kid. Um, that's really been taken from her, and I don't think it's fair. She actually had a kid name picked out. If her and Kenny would ever have a daughter, that they had an actual name picked out for this kid. Um, I had just found out recently that he already had a engagement ring picked out. On the night of the raid, Taylor was home with her boyfriend, Kenny Walker. Junia, who lived there too, was out of town. I remember that day. My mom called and she just kept repeating, when are you coming home? And she was like, Brianna, I was like, what? She's like, she's dead. I said, what did she crash into? That was my first word. I honestly, I felt like my sister would have died from a car crash before she would have died from being shot mistakenly. And hearing my mom tell me also when I got home, they didn't know she was EMT. So when they were going to leave out the apartment, they grabbed her jacket, her EMT jacket, and they were like, somebody left their jacket. And my mom kept telling him, no, that's my daughter's jacket. And the man kind of like was like, no, it's not. My mom said, yes, it does. Her initials was on the front of that jacket, B. Taylor. She said she would never forget that face, the look on his face. It kind of was like, are you serious? We killed one of our own? Yeah. It was really the hardest day. I'm trying my hardest not to cry. I hate crying. It's crazy how people's life don't take a pause because mine's did. The world continues on with, with or without the person. What does justice for Breonna Taylor mean for you? Those three officers being fired. Those three officers being fired would say a lot, mean a lot. Like, do you think that it is enough to punish those officers? I feel like there's a lot of rules that need to be changed. Like, they're supposed to be wearing body cams, as you all found out the other day. They're still not wearing their body cams. It needs to be enforced. Like, they enforce everybody in these protesters, like, like these last few nights, they've been tear gassing them and everything. Why is there no discipline for you all officers if they're not wearing what you demanded them to wear? The officers involved in Taylor's death have been placed on administrative reassignment, and there are multiple ongoing investigations, including one by the FBI. Plainclothes officers weren't wearing body cameras at the time. LMPD has since announced more comprehensive body cam requirements. But this past Sunday night, officers involved in the fatal shooting of David McAtee a popular barbecue restaurant owner, didn't have their body cams activated. The police released partial security cam footage, 
which they claim appears to show McAtee firing a shot before officers fired back. But it's unclear exactly what happened, because like in Taylor's case, there's no body cam footage. People are protesting in every single state across the country. Say her name! In every single one, at least someone is saying your sister's name. What sort of change do you hope your sister's name helps bring about in this country? I mean, there's awareness, but I hope her name really brings bigger awareness. I hope her name makes police enforcement want to tighten up and correct themselves before they make another mistake. I don't want anybody to keep going down the same road. I really do want it to be different for everybody. We shouldn't have to keep doing this over and over again. It's starting to become tiring.